the Hot Honor Kings I Cup number one, invitational number one for Southeast Asian region. The match is between BSE from Malaysia versus Team Philippines. Obviously, from the Philippines. We see a priority Kaiser ban there, no doubt. Kaiser really effective in a jungling really fast and staying really so well in the late game so it's pretty much understandable why this is a priority ban and as far as i know um it's not only like in general kaiser is good but for sure someone from team philippines which is we are about to find out uh probably is really well in terms of it's really great in terms of playing that kaiser so um, Diao Chan as well, very understandable. Uh, Diao Chan can go in the middle lane as well as in the jungle. No doubt about that. You would want to remove this very effective middle laner up against Team BSC's Malaysia. But a recently buffed hero, Butterfly, is up, actually up for grabs in here as a priority pick for BSE. And ooh, look at that. Really high sustain, high CC. Two heroes secure for the side of Team Philippines. Mozzie as well as a Byron. Byron in the clash lane. Uh, that's gonna be giving a lot of sustain in the early stages of the game even. What more in the late game stages? And a Mozzie, I'm not sure if this is what uh, Impressive is gonna secure in the support. But possibly because you can play Mozzie in the mid as well as in the support as well. So regardless, this is a good, you know, mind games for Team BSE whether they should counter Mozzie in the mid or in the support. Now, we go to the second and to the third peak of Team BSE. Arly, if you have been um, an Arena of Valor player, you know this is an Elendor, very mobile marksman but you gotta wait for somehow in a me to the late game stage of the game for you to see her go online but very effective you just have to shut her down really early on if you don't want her to go on her power spike we see a prince of landling for the jungle really good in early stages of the game but with a very tanky byron and probably also a rise in this jungle pay um, that might be a tough one for the Prince of Flandling at the late game stages game so I think it's very important for BSE to oh by the way we have Butterfly and Prince of Flandling so it's kind of a mind game right now who is actually gonna go on to the jungle right so it's highly likely that it's gonna be Prince of Flandling going into the jungle and probably butterfly into will he go to the clash lane but no there is an Arthur but it's not yet locked so yeah this is a really heavy mind game for team Philippines right now but regardless we don't know how they want to go in terms of place play style but it is kind of for sure that they have to go really early like they have to go for early kills they have to go for early invades into the jungle of Team Philippines. Early even trying to get those early kills for them to get their power spike. So I think it is now sure we now have, uh, well, still a mind game for us. We don't know if it's going to be Butterfly, most likely Butterfly Clash Lane. Um, he most likely, she most likely will be able to go for that. So you shout out to everyone on the stream. What do you think about the lineup? Well, no marksman or rather farm lane locking right now. They have been thinking between Fang and uh, Sunbin. Prince of Flanley is gonna go for support. Code Kang said. So okay, we'll see how this will go. And it's gonna be butterfly for the jungle. Let's see how they will go for the support no, Prince of Flying. It's gonna be my first time to see a support Prince of Flying. It's gonna be exciting. And this is not the usual thing that you see in ranked games for sure. But yeah, this is team BSC from Malaysia versus Team Philippines. Obviously from the Philippines on your screens right now game one of the specific semi-finals match 
So, sabi ni James Dan, galingan mo, John Lloyd de la Cruz. Di kita kinakalaro sa FL para matalo. Okay, here we go. So, we'll see how this will go. Let me just uh, quickly arrange our screen so that you can see better. Obviously, um, yeah, you usually see the supports going on to the mid lane together with the middle laner, primarily because, of course, to help them go for the fast clear in the middle lane so that they can rotate towards the other lane as fast as possible. Because he had tossed in here, very low middle laner from the side of Team Malaysia. Are they really gonna go for it? And that goes the first blood coming from Impressive. And Team Philippines is actually already working on uh, doing a, a jungler, uh, jungle invade as early as this. They're actually multitasking. Migi going for the camp already as well. But we have yet to take a look at what VSA is doing at the same time yeah. pretty much the same but i think uh, it is more of a like 700k ish lead now in favor of team of philippines gone pretty low in a middle lane quite a bit but you don't know where prince oops blue team blue team that is team malaysia going for a pause request and while we actually here on the pause we're gonna go give a shout out to lini hello to lini and rika's you shout out to you i saw you in the game already gg like aov support kane slash batman op said ryan premi execute to put pressure on adc in the early i agree i agree i mean that's something team bse needs to um you know really work on as soon as possible um, especially they got a butterfly that you want to go online ASAP as well and early um, to go for his power spike pretty much sooner than later so we'll have to find out about that now we're zooming to the game oh we have a tussle on going in here Prince of Flatling the support from the side of me is he actually gonna go for that kill but no pay arrives actually so mad he's gonna go for a chase they're gonna go flash in oh she am though unfortunately will not survive a very aggressive team Philippines we saw from that moment on a uh, two for one trade from the fight and so far, so good in favor of Team Philippines, but I don't think it's too late for Team Malaysia right now because, um, you know, again, still early on. Unfortunately, though, the first kill uh, from the side of Team Malaysia went to the Prince of Lane, which is actually a support. Normally, would want that to go to the carry, but in the middle lane, under Tussle ongoing, they're really giving the middle laner of uh, BSC a hard time. To actually go for a clear now the rest of the members of team bsc actually going for a backup in here in the middle lane giving some breathing space for our friend here couldn't read his name uh, unfortunately i don't have his english name so we're just gonna call him our uh, mid lane from team bsc yeah, me and Zap, oh, look at that really nice little bit coming from Gone, but a uh, trade coming from the side of Team BSV was just there. A one for one trade, but let's go up top. Hmm, Byron. Gonna fall down onto the hands of MS King, King, MS King, our jungler from the side of BSC. So much trades early on, but looking at what is happening, everyone wants to give it an answer. Let's look at what's happening into the farm lane though. Pretty much yeah. chill in here, both on a level 5 at the moment. Nothing yeah. much. Normally it is in the clash lane that's not not as much as going on. But meantime, yeah. in this game 1 match, what we see is that both of our farm laners are pretty much chill in there. Um, waiting for their power spike. Anyway, both of them really have to wait for their about like third item to go on before they can actually join team five now let's see arise Ooh. okay we see tussle on going oh a 
rise in here. So much crowd control, but there goes Gon about to kill. Yes, he will get that kill up against another member of Team BSC, but Miggy super low right now. And look at that. Really nice execute coming from Princess Land Lane, but they are not yet done. So much exchange is happening right now. Will Impressive survive? Yes, he will. There goes the stuns, but no, they will no longer proceed anymore. So much trades in the middle lane, and all the action actually happening in here. And while that's happening, you can see Arise going for a clear on the top side of the map. Looks like he doesn't know where the Prince of Landling is. We have more Kyung, Kyung as well actually here. So much over extension apparently. He will fall down, but I think another action happening onto the bottom side. Of the fudge. Get back to stage apparently one. Toshini will fall down onto the hands of our friend from PSE. Objectives up for taking. Yes, James Tan. Yes, this is also the butterfly from the movie. They didn't change much in this one. But yeah, let's look at the action that's happening. Really nice setup in there. Really nice uh, secure kill coming from a gun from the side of Team Philippines. But look at what our friends from BSZ actually doing in here. Really, uh, actually waiting for a victim, I think. But no one's going in here from the side of Team Philippines. Looks like they're waiting for a rise. And yes, Toshinu was well. Look at our very aggressive move coming from Prince of Landling. Unfortunately, he will not survive the damage coming up from Toshinu. I I'm not sure as to why they not push the turret. But meantime, this is so sure. A rise will secure the kill. Seeing a five man rotation down bottom part of the map right now. All from Team Philippines. They will secure the tyrant but team malaysia said okay we're gonna go for an exchange baron going for a vision miggy oh there's the flashing but nothing will happen it's also going to be lane happening right now so much exchange of skills but no casualties as of yet team bsc on a defense but look at the pokes coming in from toshinu oh a kill as well that just happened Prince of Landling already fall down. What do you guys think about the Prince of Landling support? I think it's very effective in, you know, looking and giving that vision for his teammates, but we haven't seen that, um, like, being very effective in terms of, like, giving the setup that is needed. I like a Mozzie support that can dish out tons and setups. I think I would go for a Mozzie support more than a Prince of Landling. But Prince of Landling really good in terms of giving vision for the teammate, I would say. And not giving so much information. For the meantime again, 3-man rotation. Coming from Team Philippines. They know the Prince of Landling is here. And I think they're actually going for a chase. Yes, Miki will actually go for it. Trying to slow him down. But no, he'll be able to actually go back away. And more tussle, more posts coming in. Migi will chase in here. BSC, well, another member of BSC will fall down. But this is a good push coming from Team Malaysia on the top side part of the map. But likewise, Toshinu as well as the right going for the push in the bot side. There's actually a live stream of the loser bracket. Um, I think in the Hawkeye page you will see it posted like where it is live. So someone is actually streaming that too. But let's look at the fight in the meantime. So much casualties already. So much gold lead. Uh, 5k gold in the hands of Team Philippines as of the moment. They're leading so much as of the moment. And just trying to go for a steal of the camps. No. Butterfly couldn't do as much. He's gonna go for a teleport somewhere. Yes, in the middle lane. We'll see about that. Well, fortunately though, he went actually for a, an execute in here. But meantime, okay, really nice vision. I thought they're gonna go for a fight. 
somewhere there in the bush but no they want to play it safe still although we see the lead from team philippines they just don't want to go all out like when they see someone they're gonna go for it they want to wait for the right time like especially complete but look at oh what a rampage coming from the really nice setup from migi rather uh yeah migi byron there uh but meantime so much damage he's trying to go for a shield he will not sustain long oh, there's the reset coming from butterfly but will not sustain enough because the damage from toshinu is just way too much to handle you can see the items let's take a look at the items that toshinu has in here um He's got like all, almost a third item complete and uh, that's gonna look scary Actually one of the top picks in the marksman too, but here we go. A oh, nice backup oh, What a backup coming <laughs> Impressive in there. I mean Like principal and Ling couldn't do anything in there like so much done so much CZ That's way too much to handle Okay, apparently they were not able to go for a steal of the buff. But this is now Team Philippines going for the map control. And while all these things are ongoing, Arise pretty much beating, taking the tyrant. This is... Yeah, this is the second one that they've got. And that's just giving them so much gold. Now the question is, what can Team Malaysia, Team BSC, do here? Vision being provided by Prince of Lung. I think he wants to get Gone. But for as long as Gone has his ultimate, that's gonna look scary. But now here's the setup. Let's see if Team Malaysia can do anything. Yes! It looks like this is the potential combat that they have. Arlie got the second kill. Double kill from the fight all alone. And I think this is what DSC is saying. That okay, just give us a little bit more time. And we're gonna make a comeback now they're catching up in gold this is still a 5k gold lead in favor of philippines but with that early double kill i know it's quite late but that's what we're waiting right you know the late game from this early it's just that it's pretty hard for landling to actually find a, a spot where he could go for of course not the setup but you know the flanks that he can do maybe to grab gone when he doesn't have the ultimate yet but let's see potential fight again probably piece of land laying in here oh a rise in here super low look at that just fall into the hands of jr pse team now that they got the power spike of ali in here it's gonna look scary did not connect, but oof, look at the ultimate coming from Gun. It's insane. Team B is actually secure the Overlord in here, and Migi trying to go for one more kill. Do take no Arlie is no longer here. That was a really nice, at least, shot down to stop. The carry from the side of Team BSC and look at that quadra kill. Migi killing it so hard. Let's take a look at the itemizations he has. He's got so much. 7.4k gold as well and they're just going even under turf now we'll be able to do something oh there goes the backup they have to go back away and really nice defense coming from team bse so yeah i mean uh those who knew team liab esports from arena of valor they knew Migi actually being the jungler of the team, actually impressive as well, was the jungler from Migi. So, I yeah. know it's quite, and it's, yeah, it's kind of quite surprising, right? He's now supporting, impressive here. But hey, look at this, guys. It is now just 2k gold lead in favor of Team Philippines. Is this now the potential comeback from Team BSE? Arlie is gaining so much gold right now. If you take a look at the gold she has at the moment she's got 9.5k this is looking so scary right now for team philippines they have to shut down that uh that early early on but with this 
we overlord walking down bot as well it's gonna be hard for them to actually go for a defense sometimes you know i would want to click that items popping up on the screen <laughs> feels like i'm playing <laughs> yeah Okay, really nice vision being provided by Princess Landling. This is what we want. This is what we're looking for a Princess Landling support. But impressive. Skills will not connect. And yeah, that's a secure of the Overlord. Uh, sorry, the Tyrant from the side of Team uh, BSE. But who? Look at the fight. We just did. Sorry. We, did, we just did not see that. But one member down. MSK is already down from the side of Team BSE. It's coming from the Philippines. Actually getting wiped out, falling down. What just happened? Gone is all alone. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just JR just really killing it. Now they have to wait for about like 27 seconds before everyone goes back alive. Like around around the time Toshin is the last the, the last one to fall down. But yeah, I mean they could even potentially go for the inhibitor turrets in here. Khan is all alone to defend. Are they gonna aim for defense? Not much time is in here. The minions in here, quite unfortunately, though, Team Philippines will lose that match from game one. Congratulations to Team BSC from Malaysia. What an impressive match. I mean, they just have to wait for the power spike from Arlie. Let's take a look at the post match result. I mean, Early on, we saw how how great it was um, from Team Team Philippines actually going for the game. If you look at the graph, right, they getting a lot from the game, but it all went onto the late game, close to about like 14 minutes of the game. It all went to the early going online, and. Uh, just really actually he got the mvp from the game so that was like quite unfortunate but let's take a look at the damage output so much really from our mid as well as from our far lane i think that was like a mistake on even prolonging the match but <laughs> yeah what a game coming from our th that was just game one so a really good start from and setup coming from impressive early game the combination between impressive as well as gone migi going for really nice uh flanks as well so as it's a rise but when jr when jr really just went online it just go gag went gaga I mean, it all went onto the side of team let's take a screenshot of this one you can go take oh. Let's go take a look at what is going to happen in this game too. I think I have to... I have to like put... Lock my screen. There you go. So that you, so you don't see the bar down below. This is best of five. Princess Frost, pretty much understandable. You don't want to go with, this, with, this, with the eyes, with the stuns, with the slows. And they don't want to give the butterfly. Recently got buffed. And they don't want to give to, to Team PH as well. The Ao Chan, pretty understandable. Actually, these two mages are my two mostly banned heroes as well in the ranked games. I don't want to see them. I don't want to go up against them. Jing, gonna get banned as well. Migi. Oh, is this Migi gonna go mid? Oh no, no, I think this is, he's just picking it for for his teammate. Mai Shiranui. Oh, we forgot about a Kaiser. Kaiser didn't get banned and so we have here a Kaiser jungle. Which we will see in action. Hang on, guys. J 
just fixing up something on the stream. Okay, here we go. Okay, there is the early ban already since there's no farm lane pick yet on the side of Team Philippines. They don't want to give it away. They got a Lady Sun for themselves. But for the meantime, the Dharma looking good. Dharma a while ago was in Team Malaysia. Uh, they, they want to not give out the Byron as well. And Dharma also got a little bit of buff um, on this small patch shout out to erica blanche nalilipat na ng hawk hey hello shout out to you hello kay jonathan ray <laughs> hello yeah okay where are we right now pay ban as well I'm not sure if they're actually using the Kaya name here. But all I know is that, like, Mozzie is one of the favorite heroes of Impressive. We are yet to learn about this team, so we don't see much live streams right now uh, or any official events. They are, these are all grassroots of, at the moment, so pretty interesting to see and learn. Oh, one of my favorite. Farm laners. No, they, they're not gonna go for the Marco Polo. <laughs> they are gonna go for the Huyi. Will they? Pretty. It's like a point and click hero, but pretty effective. I mean, so much ton stuns. So. Yeah, but no, they're not gonna go for it. They're still thinking. Okay, they're gonna lock in the Marco Polo. And that's gonna be very effective for any tanky heroes, just like. What they have right now in the uh, Malaysian team. The Zhuang, uh, sorry, the Zhuang Z support. I don't know how to probably pronounce the Chinese name. Zhuangxi, Zhuang Z support is there. So we'll see how this one will go. Anyone's got feedback? Feedback about what? is up on the lineup let us know in the chat beast jungle or is wangzi jungle okay here we go final adjustments between the team we are on game two hello to jv plotenia welcome to the stream shout out to all crusaders peeps sabini daryl um Oh, I'm not sure for this game if it's actually global ban. I don't think so because they have actually banned heroes a while ago that were already played. So right now, it's I don't think it's global ban right now. So yeah, here we go with our game two for the semifinals match between a Team Philippines versus Malaysia's BSE. We see a Dharma, Ka Kaiser, Mai Shiranui, Marco Polo, Yaria. Uh, on the lineup of Enemy Team Philippines, but meantime, hang on, let me just fix the screen. Let's just go for my Shiranui first. And we've got Zhang Fei, Lady Sun, Zhuangxi, Luna, and Lubu for the side of Team Malaysia. Oh, three men in a middle lane for the side of Team Malaysia in here. They really want to give. Impressive and gone a hard time in clearing the lane. Oh, they want to rotate three of them all together. Going to the bot side. This is going to be dangerous for Tossin and Zachary to go for any potential fight in there, but pretty much the same. I mean, they're actually mirroring each other's action because in the top side as well we can see a toss ongoing or like an invade ongoing but here we go Shang getting knocked out as well first blood is gonna go on to the side of team philippines and yeah that's a that's a real good start so far for team philippines but again nothing yet massive uh 
for we to say that this is gonna be their game already because as you can see right now even a while ago from game one team malaysia actually did manage to make a comeback even after a 5k cold lead so ban me gina lang daw <laughs> yeah ban me gi ban the player okay let's see what's gonna happen okay. that's a secure I mean, as you can see right now here in game two, um, there's more confidence onto the rotation being done by team Malaysia, and this is looking so bad for Marco Polo. Is, no, there's no minion for team Malaysia to push. We're gonna go for a pause in the bushes in here. Just to pretend a little bit they, that they actually already have backed out, but no, they haven't. You can see the rotation still ongoing. Again, the first blood went onto Amigi. Let's see how that will contribute later on into the team fights. Mm -hmm, a flash out available. And actually, was already used up. Kaiser in here. Arise. He will try to just. No. He will actually go. No. But he will not get Toshini on that one. Really aggressive move coming from the support of Team Malaysia. But that was a double kill given onto the Kaiser, our jungler, onto the side of Team Philippines. But Team Malaysia said, BSC, okay, that so happens. We're gonna go for a steal on your camps meantime. But maybe is here to back up. So what is Toshinu? Oh, look at those punches connecting. And uh, the ultimate coming from Toshino as well, but won't be enough yet to actually go for any kills um, up against Siang or MS King for that matter. We go back to what is happening in the middle lane. Impressive as well, Toshino. Gonna go for that, but so much rotation so far between Zhuang Li and um, as well as Zhang Fei. Kicks coming from Gone, real nice knockback. Oh, he's just saying, look at the damage coming from our Marco Polo will kill the support from Team Malaysia in their arise. Okay. Will he survive? Oh no, he will not survive from the bullet coming from our Lady Sun. Objectives now available. Moving out. Yes, Marbert, this is a tournament, but hold us up! Ooh, more kills! I don't know why suddenly the camera changed uh, after that kill. But yeah, for the meantime, uh, Team Malaysia will secure the Tyrant over there. More kills going on. Gone. My Shiren Ui will fall down. Real nice backup by Xiang, our Lubu, in the match. Yeah, yeah, just protecting our Marco Polo so that whenever he goes inside or whenever he goes for the ultimate, at least he'll be able to gain more sustain, you know, because there, I mean, the, the skills of the Marco Polo is just, Try to keep up. no, he, ha he has no stuns basically, and once CC, he can fall down, but for the meantime, four-man rotation coming in from Team Malaysia, onto the top side, we have Dharma! <gasps> Flashing out, MS King trying to go for chase, but there's a punch, no, but he will fall down. Why suddenly the camera changes? I mean, okay, I didn't like that feature. <laughs> well, because we were still watching on that one, on that particular clash, but in time in here, my sure knew we will fall down. I think that was a bad spot or position that he was in. Flash out from Toshinu. They're really okay here in this match already. The lead is on the side of Team Malaysia. They have come back right after they got the Tyrant, they got the turret up top, they got the kills up against the uh, Migi who got the first blood as well. I think they are already catching up on almost and everything. But there's an exchange of the turret, but will that be enough? Because as you can see in here, Zhuangzi just 
the re and the rest of the team members coming off from the Team Malaysia but how the fuck? Sian Yu here actually go for the ultimate a right solo load backup coming in from Tasha Nu as well as impressive but will that be enough? Yes, somehow that will be enough uh, actually just to shove away the members of Team Malaysia. They will not get the middle turret. At least somehow they managed to actually stop the push. But here goes more minion waves. Let's see how far they can go. In here as well in the jungle camp. Look at what Zanzi. So sorry. Zwangzi is doing in terms of like just annoying Kaiser and taking all the jungle camps that he needed to farm. <laughs> That's so funny, Cedric. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, a lucky lucky nakatawa ni impressive. Tapos nakayaya. Okay, here we go. More invades, more invades. PH kind of breaking down. I I noticed. Yeah, I noticed. Like. Okay, there goes the Lubu ultimate just to shove away. That was a really nice. I mean, Lubu making use of the ultimate to create the space for uh, for Lady Sun to actually go for the turret push. It was just like impressive. Cosplay Hiaria X. <laughs> impressive. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. Niko makakalimuto. Grabe baka hindi na magiyari kasi impressive. Ha? But let's go back to what's happening in the game. The action. Ultimate uh, of Marco Polo. Unfortunately, not enough to actually go for the kill up against the Luna. Pathetic. Now, this is looking questionable for Team PH side. Because it looks like they're losing big grip on what they can do but i like the push that Toshino is doing as well as the aria is doing this? here impressive but again that's just an exchange that's just an exchange of turret and uh they're even getting more position more aggressive positioning here from the side of team malaysia they're going for a push but let's see the setup Will there be enough damage in here to really tank and support Zampei on the side of Team Malaysia in here? See Yang and it will still survive! Look at the Lubu, really low HP and still no kills from the side of Team Philippines. I don't know if my microphone is breaking, but usually it's the case. Oh, oh. Unfortunately, well, either way, I mean, impressive doesn't have much damage, but it was a really low HP. Uh, BSE member. Uh, they take another Overlord, or rather Tyrant, and they're gonna get. They're working on the Overlord already, but they paused. Probably they knew. Um, it's not time. It's not time. Let's just wait for the rest of the members. Our teammates. But so far, um, Team Philippines managed to catch up somehow in terms of gold. I know IG and e Marco Polo. Marco Polo is talking. I don't know if it's too small and the uh, Toshino, not Toshiro. Ah, Toshinu, Toshinu. Sounds like your name, Toshiro Omoto. Either way, we have Zhang Pei trying to go for a vision. Okay. Why Yaria? <laughs> I think it's primarily because they have Marco Polo as a as a marksman and look like that what they want to do is to Yaria will just go in uh, Marco Polo or maybe a rise but yeah let's take a look at the tussle first there is an exchange of objectives happening right now team BSC will finish early first and there goes the show there goes the challenge in here looks like they're going all so low it's kind of a messy right now and look at what Zampei is doing just show me the rest of the members who actually backed away a rise will fall down there is no more kaiser and look at what lady sun is already doing actually trying to go for a push into the base but unfortunately that will not happen ms king in here super aggressive maybe onto the backup impressive will be able to do something unfortunately will not save the life of amigi in there and will also um just go on to a different side with toshi our marco polo in the game jeez you can't rely on others for everything now this is tough. Jonathan said, Malaysian people have been playing HOK since 2015. Um, 
So they have like mga Malaysian Chinese yun talaga nilalaro nila. This is what they're playing. Oh, look at this super low HP members up to the side of BSE. They did not push through the Overlord, but do take note, they still have Zhuangzi in here. Will the reveal still? Fortunately not. Kaiser will secure the kill onto this objective. Fortunately for Team Philippines, they still have hope, but they still need to make some push onto the side lane. Why are you they don't have much a chance in a middle lane so far because this is fully controlled as of the moment by Team BSE. <laughs> the gold lead right now is about 4k in favor of Team BSE. Look at the position of Zhang Fei in here. Oh, this is very dangerous. A rise super low in HP. Will this be enough for him to actually go for his sustain? He's trying to back up. Back up and coming from Toshinu as well as Yaria. But that will be enough to actually save the life of a rise. Migi said, okay, I'm just gonna go for a tower push and maybe just buy time. Just maybe try to go for some punches. He will secure one kill, but will he survive? There goes the final kill coming from Zhang Fei from the side of Team Malaysia. And one, actually two members left, Toshinu, as well as Impressive. It's, it's gonna be dangerous, okay? For them to be all alone in here, just two of them. But I think they're just, of course, clearing off the lanes. Just farming and trying to catch up. Now the question, what kind of strategy Team PH needs to do in here in order to at least gain back the map control? They're having a hard time with the frontliners of Team BSC, the Zhangfei, as well as even Lubu. Kind of hard to deal with. We saw Siyang a while ago actually going for that. I'm gonna save my life still. He got like one HP bar and he still survived. But either way, we can see now Tyrant quickly secured by Team BZ and getting more from the farm into the jungle of Team Malay of Team Philippines. But oh, look at this god actually running for his life. Will he be able to survive? See, Young doesn't want to go for his ultimate and you don't want to waste. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's just one true damage hit. But for the meantime, in the lane, we see the stuffle ongoing right now. Oh, look at this one. No more Dharma for the side of Team Philippines. A right super low in HP. Caution as well as impressive going for that. But the one all the way to the door. Team Philippines disappeared from the map. And no, don't care about the inhibited service anymore in the middle lane they're just gonna go for that secure of the base congratulations in malaysia gonna go for the second win of this best of five semi-finals match what do you guys think about the uh the lineup of team philippines here what they like i i know like there were questions around uh, why yaria is it enough for the Yaria to actually give that protection for Toshino on the Marco Polo? Is it as well or he could or maybe Yaria could have been going in in instead on Migi or maybe a rise for more sustain? It just didn't work out there. Their lineup I think as well as I mean the rotation they probably got overwhelmed already with a four-man rotation sometimes even five-man rotation being done by team malaysia zhang fei was really tanky as well as uh si yang on the lubu so that was really tough that was super super tough and uh let me just uh okay let me just prepare my let's go back to the game now here we go Yes, this is best of five, but it's now match point. 
Hindi pa tapos yung SF cast mo. <laughs> anyway, we are back to the game. They don't want to give away the Zangfei. Not the Arlie as well. No Byron. No. Diao Chan. Pretty understandable. Zangfei, super tanky. Arlie. Very mobile and scary, really, in the late game. We saw that game one match a while ago. We are in Team Philippines up for 5k gold lead. And still, the Arlie, just after getting the third item completed, just power spiked all over and dishing so much damage. And uh, now we see Adolia, actually, one of my favorite supports. So yes, that's where you can download the game. Thank you, Ibrahim. Ibrahim Khan. That's where you can download the game. Isalin nyo ako dyan para maiganti ko ang Team Philippines. Dolia, we have a Jing. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty to have a Dolia, especially if you have uh, an ultimate from your team composition that has so much... Uh, like huge contribution to a team fight but now oh charlotte looking scary especially to the late game uh, even into the early <laughs> i mean i tried to play charlotte just normal games you know uh, and i just so you know like he she can uh, recover some HP and all that, but look at this Marco Polo now secured into the side of Team Malaysia. It looks like they want to show Team Philippines how to play a Marco Polo and maybe how to play a Pay. My Shironui band, yeah, no more Yaria yeah, as well. <laughs> it's okay, Vincent. It's okay, Vincent. No problem. We still have upcoming events and no worries. True, true, true. Me too, me too. I'm learning as I watch. Now, question what? Xiao Kiao, will they lock this in? Hello! Sheen! Iren Arman Kapanis. I really feel weird to be calling you in your complete name. Okay. Xiao Kiao. And here we go. Again, do take note. This is match point for Team BSE. Malaysian team. Five seconds left. Just one more win and they're gonna head on to the finals. Match. Here we go. So now this is your third game for the best of five match between BSC from Malaysia versus Team Philippines. We have Charlotte Pei, Marco Polo, Xiao Kiao, Dong Huang from the side of BSC, and we have Dolia, Jing, Shangguan, D Renji, as well as Sun, Sun Ke from this side of Team Philippines. Seconds. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be already the final game? Babawi yung mayan. Sempre Team Philippines. Jonathan Re. Let's go. Let's see how they're gonna do it this time. Okay, Charlotte uh, in a half life right now. See how super low on Migi's Sanke. But at the same time, in the middle lane, tussle here and there. Our supports impressive on Adolia, very effective while she's in the river, definitely. Um, so, gonna be taking advantage of that. Uh, it's actually forced uh, Dong Wang to, to go back to the base. So, that will give him a hard time in getting more goals for himself and getting more itemization. Meanwhile, the Dolia is so close to getting onto level 2. Uh, just giving that vision as well as to where the jungler pay already as well is in the map. Yeah. 
PH really wants to win the early. Seb Pam. Let's see if that's gonna be the strategy now this time. Now that they have Ching. Let's see how effective that will be. Go beyond. Standing is... Oops, oh look at that! Super low HP, unfortunately! Oh, Xiao Kiao will fall down early on onto the hands of Team Philippines. And that's actually Migi securing. It's always Migi securing the first uh, blood in, in, in the games, as we've noticed. Backup incoming. Okay, okay. Oh, they know. They they know that there is a backup. MS King actually wanted to go for a backup for Charlotte, but unfortunately, that did not happen. So, for the meantime, let's go back to work. I really like what Impressive is doing in here. Just so much visions in the middle lane. Is this going to be the second death? of Xiao Kiao, uh, fortunately for him not, but ooh, look at that, uh, if the waves actually reach her, it's gonna be the death of her again. Fortunately for him not, but look at this rotation going towards the bottom part, part of the map, Marco Polo in a, in a dangerous position, JR, but no, in the meantime, they're just gonna go for a jungle kind of steal. Okay, I think uh, Team Philippines was able to secure that if I saw it correctly. But so far, so good. I mean, not much lead as of the moment. It's just 800 gold almost. Magulti ka papuntang makdo. This is best of five. Uh, Glenn Katibo. Okay, flash in. Really nice hold coming from our support. And that gave them the first kill from the side of Team Philippines. And the bone is coming in. And look at Mingi actually gonna go for another kill. And that's the same guy. It's Xiao Kiao again. Um, more tussle ongoing. Mark of, oh, Charlotte gonna go for that. Kill of the kill. Totally Charlotte. Charlotte is Charlotte. Dude, Charlotte is. And while that was happening, look at this one. Toshini almost actually... Securing the turret down bottom part of the map. Okay, our Shao Kiao already is on 0 2, so that's not gonna be a super effective middle laner on, on this current stage until he gets maybe second or third item for himself. But Charlotte looking good at 1 0. What more actually, maybe? Going on, joining the team fight once more. Got a, this uh, Philippine team looks like, just like what Jonathan Ray has said, looks like they're gonna make a comeback. Migi already having 3k gold in his pocket. Waiting in the bush, look at that Siyang! Okay, Charlotte will be able to save himself. Try to defend. Gone, no! Super deep, but will he be able to survive still? Really nice creation of space to secure that turret in the middle lane. The standing right now is 2-0 in favor of Team Malaysia. Team Malaysia is on the blue side and uh, Team Philippines is on the red side. So yeah, match point na. So if Malaysia wins this game, 3-0 and they win, they go to the grand finals match. But this is uh, still, there is still hope for Team Philippines in this game. Migi got held by Dong Hua. Unfortunately, he will fall down. Quite unfortunate. It was actually Xiao Kiao who actually secured a kill up against him. Charlotte busy up top, but there is already a nice vision for the side of Team Philippines onto the middle lane as well as in the bottom lane part of the map. Yet, Team Malaysia still has yet to get a turret push anywhere in the map. Even though we saw this uh, map control on the side of Philippines, uh, still... Oh, but look at that! Xiao Kiao will be able to save himself though. A really nice utilization of his, her ultimate. But... Do you really think you can hide? The Renji. Held again. 
Let's see if Dong Huang will survive. We'll see. Apparently not. Si Yang in here tried to get a kill. He will, will he survive? And apparently not as well. Marco Polo tried to get a kill, but he's all alone. These are actually five members of Team Philippines. That was a tough spot for him to actually go for a survival. Secure. Obviously on the side of Team Philippines. There's nothing... There's nothing what uh, Team Malaysia can do about that. Elimination round. No, actually, whoever loses this round will still go to the lower bracket. Lower bracket finals. So there is still really hope to whoever will lose this. But yeah, meantime, another held in here. Shao Kiao will get a kill up against Nigi. Nigi will pull down. So much tussle ongoing. Members of BSE trying to run for their lives. So nice poke coming up from Shao Kiao. Actually making a comeback already. From all the deaths that she got she got from the early game. Uh huh. Okay. There's nothing what Shao Kiao can do on that aggressive move coming from Jing. But here goes the boat. Here goes the ship coming from Migi. They will secure the middle lane, and their map position is in here. There's not even one turret yet taken down from the side of Team Philippines. And uh, obviously Malaysia having a tough time. What do you think Malaysia should do? But Jing arriving all alone. Mm, nice hold coming from Dong Huang there. Allowing them to secure the kill up against Jing. But regardless, there is the overlord from the side of Team Philippines. It was Migi to get a Widolia. Impressive. Will they secure a kill in here? There's just two of them. Migi's super low right now. But a come back up coming up from Gun. Will they be able to secure the key kill up against King? Yes, he will. But there will be an exchange because our Charlotte is here. There goes the heal. But no. Sabi nga nila sa Philippines. Tusok, tusok lang. Ayan. Okay. Look like. It looks like uh, there is now the potential comeback coming from Team Malaysia. Ooh, Si Yang will still survive. Look at the sustain and survivability of that Charlotte. It's just way too much. It's just kind of unfair. <laughs> Charlotte is way, way too much. I mean, like, the, I think they need to build in here some anti-heal, but they, they just really need to shut down this Charlotte now. But so far, so good. 2k gold lead in favor of Team Philippines, but obviously there is already somehow a light of hope for Team Malaysia as they take down a turret down bot. And the Charlotte is actually becoming aggressive now and having more survivability. Early gameplay, <laughs> lagi ang lahi natin. The Overlord and Tyrant have been in hand. An exchange of objectives to Malaysia for the Tyrant, the Overlord for the Team Philippines. I think the Overlord is very effective for Team Philippines because uh, it will help them push the all of the to the hands of his, I think, uh, one of his favorite heroes in AOB times. No, that was uh, their. Mid laner before, but hold the thoughts. Let's go back to the thoughts in the game because the Overlord is still with the hands of Team Mal uh, Team Philippines in here. Fortunately, Dong Wang doesn't have here the ultimate, so no luck in. On the defense side right now, Jig is actually going so well. And even double kill coming from Gon in there, but pay? Arise is in here in the middle of the turret as well. And he doesn't have a way to escape and just basically got punched by Pei. But again, uh, I think the decision coming from the Philippine side is uh, to take the Overlord was very nice because it will allow them to actually escape. 
So here we go. Oh no, the Renju will fall down. JR in here still tries to stay. The rest of the members of G Malaysia are all back alive. The deck was just gone. Remaining. Oh my goodness. The tables have turned around once more. And look at this. The gold gap is now just 1k in favor of Philippines still, but. The gap has become have become closer. See Young in here, our Charlotte gonna go for the ultimate in here, gonna go survive, back up and coming as well. Arise actually got knocked up and he will fall down onto the hands of Xiao Kiao. And now it is Team Malaysia going for the comeback play that they very much awaited. My oh my, this is looking so scary for the side of Team Philippines because now Charlotte is very much online. Marco Polo is gonna dish up so much damage to whoever we want to tank on the side of Team Philippines. And it's looking scary. Still. They're gaining that map in here. Now, regardless, like, I think they need to proc. Dong Wang's ultimate, so he, 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 won't, he won't be able to set up. Megan here trying to go for a setup, and here gonna be so He went in with Dong Wang still having an ultimate. Lots of casualties in here so far. Gone still trying to go for the kill. He's actually going so aggressive. A lot of members from the side of Team Malaysia also low. Now two members left from the side of Team Philippines. We gotta love what Gone actually did in that particular match. He's actually so online. 835 right now. He making use of the Shang Guan. Now, it looks like <laughs> this is something. Team Philippines is falling down. And now, Philippines wants to keep the position on the Overlord because they very much need this. But we... But with Dong Wong in here, okay, Dong Wong's ultimate is not yet available. He won't be able to snap someone, but KP okay, at least to catch up on the gold because it's now BSD who has taken the gold lead from what has happened. Okay, I don't know why I lost the game sound, but hopefully it goes back. Okay, there you go. It's going back from time to time. Okay, here we go. Gonna get suppressed here. Toshinu, but he will be able to survive. Marco Polo getting a lot of kills in here so far. But again, gone. Going for kills. Still four members up for both sides. Hopefully the stream don't break out. This usually happens in the intense... Intense... Uh, Na moments in the game, but don't you worry because I am recording. I am recording the live so in case it goes down. I have a good play. But here we go. Team Philippines already going for a secure of the Overlord right now. But the members of Team DSE are, are actually trying to stop. And then G has fallen down. Marco Polo took another kill. And uh, Charlotte actually going for a side lane push in the map. Three members on the side of Team. Uh, Philippines are all alive, back up incoming from uh, from Xiao Kiao, but unfortunately they will pull down. But again, look at what C what C Young did here onto the bottom lane part of the map. At least they were able to stop the Philippines as well from taking the Overlord. This is gonna be, I mean, someone who gets the Overlord. I think whichever team gets the Overlord will most likely also get the secure or the easier secure of the base of the game and now team philippines is actually already there only with toshinu as well as the dolia impressive so we'll see about this it looks like they're gonna secure it so this is good for team philippines they have secured it no question asked Let me just disconnect on my Discord. See you later, Ujin. I'll be back soon. Here we go. Down bottom part of the map. We have a tussle ongoing right now. 
lots of damage coming in from Pei as well as Shao Kao actually. And it's kind of messy at the moment, but we can see a lot of members on the side of the full of the ramp to the falling death have been wiped out. It's just way too much to handle for Team Philippines. I mean, the, the AoE damage coming from Shao Kao. And they're gonna go for the base. It's gonna be looking like it because it is gonna be a 3 a zero score in favor of Team BSE. Congratulations, BSE from Malaysia. They're gonna move forward to the grand final match, which is gonna happen tomorrow. Unfortunately, though, for Team Philippines, they're gonna move forward down into the bottom of the bracket. They lost in a 3-0 score up against Malaysia's BSC. They are very strong. They really know how to come back. But for sure, it's going to be a learning experience. Not just for Team Philippines, but also for the rest of the other teams who are actually part of this HOK C Invitational Cup. And also for the viewers. And for me, casters. Like me as well. So let's take a look at the metrics. Oh, sorry. Let's take a look at the graph. It was all into the side of Team Philippines until it's late game. Around 12 minutes game time, the comeback of Team Malaysia came in right after. It was right, obviously, right after when Si Young, Charlotte went online, and obviously Xiao Kiao as well. A made a comeback you know the itemization almost complete even though it's an 8-8 KDA there still very impressive quite unfortunate but again 